Hey guys, welcome in to this section of the course where we are going to talk completely about Pinterest and how we're making money on Pinterest and really explaining the platform to you guys in a way that maybe it hasn't been explained to you. But in 2019, Pinterest has one of the highest potentials of earning you, your business, your brands, a high income potential. So let's talk about that and talk about why. Okay, first of all, Pinterest, um, as you guys can see here, is a search engine. Uh, just like Google, just like Amazon. So you can come inside of Pinterest and actually search for certain things like camping. Um, if you're, we've talked about tennis before, we've talked about pets. There's all sorts of things that you can search. In fact, you can see across here, there's different lists of ideas, photography, gadgets, dogs, uh, meals, etc., etc. Okay. So if you're to search camping, you start to get all these posts that pop up. One thing that we're going to really pay attention to is the types of images um, that are actually being used in these posts. But really, I'm going to jump into some slides here to really explain to you guys um, what Pinterest is all about and how we're going to be using it for your e-com stores. So first off, Pinterest has massive organic profit potential. And that's a key word that I want you guys to pay attention to is organic. Okay. Um, one of the big keys that we teach you guys all throughout this course is how to be building your brands, not just through advertising, right? But also how to eventually have a lot of organic traffic coming into your businesses so you don't have to rely just on advertising. In fact, I would prefer you to rely much less on advertising and more focused on organic tra traffic profit methods like Pinterest or SEO and ways to rank your Google, uh, your content on Google, through your blog, et cetera, et cetera. So the big thing is, simply put, Pinterest is a giant pin board of pinned images, okay? So it's kind of like a goal board or a wish list, but most people miss this fact. Pinterest is actually a giant link building platform, okay? So that's how I want you guys to look at this as we're talking about Pinterest. In fact, let me go back to Pinterest really quick. Okay, as you guys look at these pins, I want you to pay attention to a few things. Yeah, they're great images and uh, a lot of the stuff is do it yourself, but one thing that I really want you to notice is as you hover over the images, notice where it goes. Buzzfeed.com, uh, the best blog recipes. This one goes to fresh off the grid. So if you were to click into the post, freshoffthegrid.com. So again, I want you guys to look at these images as not just images, but it is a huge link building platform, okay? So for those of you that have been through the SEO portion of the course, you know how important building backlinks to your website is. Um, the more backlinks, essentially, or the more uh, places that are on the internet talking about your company, the, the more Google values your business and sees relevance in your business for customers. So they're going to rank your content higher than other businesses that don't have these social media platforms and don't have these links going back to their sites. So that's one thing just to consider that when you open up, you know, these links, it's going to take you to a blog, right? So this has got car camping recipes, backpacking recipes, but also what you're going to find is signups for newsletters and bam, right here, you guys notice this right here. Okay. Amazon affiliate links. So this company is literally putting this post on Pinterest to bring traffic into their blog to then sell camping gear. Okay. Notice the relevancy. And that's one of the next things that we're going to talk about is relevance. So let's jump back into the slides just so, I can talk about the importance of these different things. So on Pinterest, there's a big difference between other social media platforms like Facebook or Instagram. Um, people kind of get annoyed on certain platforms like Instagram. If you were to post 30 posts a day, people would probably be like, <laughs> what's wrong with this person? <laughs> so, or what's wrong with this company? Like they post way too much. So with Pinterest, you can get away with it because ultimately you can... You can take eight different sections of your business or eight different portions of your business. So if you're in camping, um, it could be camping recipes. It could be uh, camping tents. It could be 
different aspects that you can create images for and drive them to different portions of your business, okay? So take that into account. The other thing is with Pinterest. So my point was you should, you should pin at least 10 times a day. So the more content on Pinterest that you pin over time, that's gonna build a lot of organic traffic to your businesses, okay? So the other thing is you don't have to pin unique content with Pinterest. So if you find content on Pinterest, you can actually repin it to your own board. Um, and basically the people following your Pinterest boards will see that content and a lot of times end up back inside of your other images and boards looking at your content, which then bring them to your site. So that's something really cool too, is, is the, the ability to repin. Okay, so the other thing, number four, using long images versus normal social images, and I see that I have a typo there, so I apologize about that, but it's really important on Pinterest. So for instance, if we come back over here to Pinterest, notice that on this area, what images are really standing out to you guys? Okay, so if you notice, a lot of times these little square images, first of all, Pinterest doesn't really favor those, so they actually prefer you to have these long images. Um, but more so, on this particular platform, you guys, it just looks so much better, and it's so much more uh, appealing and eye-catching. And so when you're setting up your pins, you want to use long images. Um, pretty simple. Um, straightforward. So just think about that when you're actually setting up your pins. So the next thing to really consider, and I found uh, these statistics on Ahology as well as by Intelligence. Now on Pinterest, consumers, it actually shows the percentage here, percentage of pinners that are basically making promoted pin purchases. So for instance, when you look at fashion and clothing, arts and craft products, exercise and fitness products, food products, entertainment, alcohol and spirits. These are some of the largest pins that are getting actual purchases um, currently on Pinterest. So think about that. As you guys know, um, in this course, we talk a lot about the women's industries, right? So different types of fashion, clothing, makeup, um, all, all sorts of those industries that do extremely well. Exercise and fitness. Right? These are things that really tap into the main three things that people uh, purchase because of emotional attachment to. So think of that, think about that for a second. Okay. Um, with the distribution of uh, Pinterest users across different demographics, when you also look at this, I found this really interesting because uh, on this other chart, it shows that the age the age groups basically demographic wise, um, age 25, even ages 18 to 24 are, are pretty high up there as far as the user base, but it goes all the way up to um, even people in, in age 65 plus that are starting to use Pinterest. Um, the other thing I found interesting was obviously females are gonna be the larger portion of user, but there is still a large majority of men that actually use Pinterest, which I found very interesting when we were uh, starting to promote products on Pinterest because we've tested both markets and both markets actually work really well. So that was really interesting. So just to take that all into consideration when you're thinking about or looking at your companies and your brands and thinking about the different types of things that you want to pin onto uh, Pinterest, the great thing is if even if it doesn't tie in with your e-commerce brand, you guys, you can tap into Amazon affiliate uh, income. You can tap into digital product promotion. And we're gonna talk all about that inside of this course because if you don't have a Pinterest plan set up yet, I think you're going to once you see the value in what you can actually do with the platform. So think of it this way. Pinterest is a visual search engine and you don't just get traffic from people following you, okay? So this is one thing that was a really big mind shift for me when we started testing products on Pinterest was that like think of Instagram, Instagram, you're mostly interacting with people that follow your Instagram page or with Facebook, like if someone's not following your business, they're not seeing your posts unless you're advertising, right? That's, that's a key difference. Same thing with Instagram. 
if you're advertising, your post is going to show up in front of people. But the nice thing with Pinterest is it's more based on SEO. It's based on keywords. It's based on the content. So, and it stays there. So the content is forever. Google loves Pinterest and also loves and, and gives direct traffic to Pinterest because it has high authority um, and people, when they land on the website, tend to stay there long. And as you guys know, in the SEO portion of the course, the longer that you can keep someone on your website, which is why it's so important to create good blog content, the higher you rank in Google. Okay, so all of this, the whole picture, you guys, it's going to help with overall SEO ranking when linking to a site. So as you're building good content, let's say you write a blog article that talks about a product on your website and you, it's got really good information. And again, don't write crappy content, write good content that people want to read and engage with. Uh, maybe it's a product review. Maybe it reviews multiple products. So you can always review like your product brand. Um, and then maybe you could also review three or four other companies. But the key is, if you're going to review other companies, see if they have an affiliate program because you can sign up for their affiliate program and use that link, put it in your blog post. So whether they purchase from your store or their store, you make a commission. OK, so hopefully some of this is starting to sink in and starting to give you guys some ideas. The other thing is on Pinterest, there's boards and there's pins. OK, boards help you categorize your pins. So I want you guys to start thinking of basically you want at least eight categories for your brand on Pinterest. Now, let's uh, for camping, for instance, you can do a camping tent board. You could do camping hacks. You could do um, camping uh, sleeping bags. You could do just think of basically eight different boards that you could be posting different stuff on that's relevant to your audience to where when they find that content, it's relevant and they end up wanting to click and go to your brand. Okay. So whatever is, whatever would be of interest to those who like your brand. And again, the key here that I'm just trying to continue to uh, convey is relevance. Okay. You want to keep your content relevant to who the avatar is, who your buyer is. So if you know that avatar, is it, uh, is it women age 35 to 50? What niche are they in? What's their demographic? You know, how would, how would those people speak and how would they like to be spoken to, right? So think about these things because this is all a big part of marketing. All right, now on Pinterest, again, thinking of pins, even though they're images, but again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hammer this home again, Think of, think of it all as links. Every time you post on Pinterest, where are you driving that traffic, okay? These are hyperlinks that drive users anywhere that you want them to go. So Pinterest users, again, love these long images. So when you're pinning, pin, pin these rather than short images. And I also put the pixels here for you guys. So if you're using canva.com to set up your images, all you have to do is create a custom dimension, 800 by 422. You can throw in some collages, put some nice text, and pay attention to these other pins and why they're so eye-catching, okay? There's, there's colors, but the text is really big and bold and easy to read. And so those are going to be some key things when you guys start thinking about pinning on Pinterest, okay? So that is pretty much the first video, you guys, for this course. We're going to get into, um, in the next videos... We're gonna really talk about traffic methods. We're gonna talk about um, different types of affiliate programs. And I want you guys to really start to think about your dropshipping business, okay, as a physical product company, does not need to stay in the physical space. And what I mean by that is you can start to incorporate digital products. I wanna teach you guys inside this course how to look for digital products that fit within your niche. Okay, so you're not just pushing physical, you're pushing digital. And the one thing with Pinterest that I really want to hammer home with you is because this content stays on the internet forever, it's not like, it's not like it disappears. Like on, on Facebook, even though the content's there, 
there's a there's a small likelihood as it gets driven down further and further and further into your posts that it doesn't get seen much, okay? With Pinterest and it being um, keyword related, you can continue to post relevant content. And those posts can be driven to products or digital products or other things that make you commissions. And since it's on there forever, you can over time build a recurring income that grows every single month. And eventually that income will be a massive part of your business, okay? And the reason why that's so powerful, you guys, um, I've sold four Shopify stores now. And with every sale of those businesses, we got smarter and smarter with how we were actually approaching those sales. And in fact, the new section of the course in 2.0, we're really teaching you guys how to package your businesses, how to put them up for sale and get maximum uh, dollar for, for the sale of your company. Okay, if you can build, if you can start building your Pinterest boards out, and let's say for the first month, you make 10 bucks, and the second month you make 100, and the third month and fourth month, and it starts to grow and grow and grow. Okay, and let's say your blog, as you start to put content on your blog, and you start to build affiliate income, that income grows and grows and grows. And then with your physical product business, you start advertising and you start getting organic traffic and that grows and grows and grows. Well, at the end of the day, you guys, if you can build a business that even makes $3,000 a month, you can sell that for anywhere from $75 to $100,000. Okay, so that's what all of this is tying into. So again, this is really exciting. I love teaching this stuff to you guys because we are using it and getting massive traffic to our stores, massive traffic to our blogs, and it's instantly increasing our income across the board for our businesses. So hope you guys love this information. Um, we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.